Hello and welcome to the cryptocurrency technical analysis that you have been waiting for. That's right, we're going to be going into what you love and that's going over the next levels, targets and current trades that I'm in. I will give you a little bit of a heads up because I know some of you are going to be so anxious to know this information. You're not going to be able to concentrate without it. And I'm going to tell you this, I am still in zero 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 short positions locally here on the bitcoin chart i am in my long trades and i am looking for higher throughout 2023 i've had this you know underlying bullish bias which really came concreted as you know a very big bullish publicly bullish opinion uh you know over the past week specifically on tuesdays when i started to get very bullish indeed and this has obviously aided us Go through 16, 17, 18, 19, up to $20,000 where we are here. I will tell you, as I just said, ladies and gentlemen, I remain bullish, I remain in longs, and I'm looking for higher prices to come. I'm going to explain the exact reasons for that during this video. I hope that you can fully concentrate, listen to what I'm going to say. I'm going to be sharing a lot of key information with you all. And uh, yeah, my mission of this video is to give you a professional technical analysis that's easy to understand and easy to comprehend what I'm looking at next. I understand this is a lot of time uh, at the moment. Lots of people are going to be fearful. Some people are going to be happy, but nevertheless, a lot of emotions either way. So I want to come in here, give you the guiding light, explain what I'm looking for. Because uh, as we know, right, <laughs> what I'm looking for and what I'd like to see on Bitcoin has been <laughs> playing out very well in recent times. So may, may that continue. And I'm going to explain why I'm looking for higher in this video, okay? Um, of course, naturally, I'm going to run off this video looking over the past few days of price action because to understand what's going on here, we need to understand the context of how we got here, thus reviewing this prior price action. We need to have this information and knowledge to know what we're doing looking at next. Obviously, I've mentioned I'm looking for higher overall, but to understand the exact trade that we can be looking at here in the moment, we need to understand the context. So I'm going to talk you through the last few days of price action here. Of course, picking up where I left off my last video. Uh, which would have been this one, where obviously we're talking about the potential new market cycle for Bitcoin with the bottom being in. Uh, you can see here, you know, I've been in bullish and no short trades now for a while. And that's where we're going to be picking up here. So, uh, yeah, without further said or do, let's get into this analysis. Of course, the easiest way to bring your mind back to what's been happening over the past week is referring to the posts that I gave in my group in the time before this large move to the upside. I want you to get into my brain so you can really understand the, the thought processes and theories that I'm going through, um, you know, live in that time. So if we refresh our brains, in the last video, we were coming up to, uh, we were in we were within, within local price action, we were coming up to an internal CC, right? And we had 19,200 just above us, okay? And for me, the first touch of the CC, I came in here and I told my group, for me, I am not going to short any local resistances here. I'm looking for the new high. So, of course, I'm aware that we have the CC above us. But when we hit that level, I made it clear as day to my team. I'm not shorting any of these local resistances here. And I am looking for a new high to come. OK, so you can just see like when it comes to it, of course, I'm a level to level trader and I've got my levels marked out. And really simply, I'm telling my team, these are the levels but then when we get the reactions, I make a very well informed decision. No, I'm not trading this level. I'm looking for new highs. All of my local resistances here, of course, they are levels, but they are not to be traded, at least by myself. I'm looking for higher. I want to see this continue upwards and I'm not short in any local resistances and I'm looking for the new high. Okay, giving bits of a glimpse over on the Twitter, of course, as always, uh, you know, I woke up that morning actually with this this insight of you know the, the previous day i ended my day saying still in no short trades locally on bitcoin i am in longs the next day once again i'm going to end the day saying this not in any short trades locally only in longs i'm going in still of course telling my team here want to see new highs today want to make it very clear i'm looking for higher i'm very bullish on bitcoin i'm <laughs> remaining in my long trades you know everything i'm doing is just like i say here i've made it my real mission to become absolutely clear what my trading plan and bias is i understand the emotions in the market and that people near need a clear-headed professional leader we rejected from the local CC, but I made it clear to my team, no short trades from that local rejection. I want higher. I'm not trading these local resistances. 
okay and naturally <laughs> i was kind of correct on this and we did push up higher right we had a few levels above us 19200 which we really simply just went through okay we then had 19600 which once again we really simply went through so i'm aware of these levels for potential short trades but i'm not taking any of them because there's no weak reaction we had still strength in our correlated assets and bitcoin itself is just simply going through each level which for me is very nice because I've had this very big, undeniable bullish bias, right? Everything I'm talking about is bullish and looking for higher. So when, for example, I have a next level of 19,600 and we just go straight through it, that for me is brilliant because I'm in no shorts locally. I am in long trades. So if we just slice through like a level, that for me is music to my ears. You know, I'm, I'm very content with that. And of course, even as we're looking at the charts, as we're going to start to move on to what's happening here, still remaining in these long trades and bullishly biased. And I just want to explain something very briefly to you. <clears throat> and that's actually this, this post here. Of course, when I was talking about the CC and a few different levels that we had in there, the, the different firm and an extension locally, I wanted to see those new highs made. I wasn't going to short those CCs. And I just want to refer to this post here. And it's you can see what I mean. We all have the same levels. Even people in other groups, they, they will use my analysis, right? But I'm good at deciding which ones to then trade, which ones are not worth the trade. Here, I decided not to short the CC Fibonacci, even though there was bearish CVD and a visible rejection, because the bigger trade play is still above us. This is what practice and experience brings one in trading, intuition, the sixth sense. Off the charts and even at that time i went on to say after we were breaking up still in no short trades for me that was from 19200 still not even going to short 19200 i remain bullish and i'm only staying in my long trades you know i'm just making it clear as day to my team here okay i'd like to emphasize on this a little bit because I, I think it's a very important topic and one that you can benefit from understanding fully as i've said like obviously i teach technical analysis and we all are going to have the same levels and there's this thing in trading which i truly believe is real and it's when you're in the zone when you're fully concentrating on the charts you're in the zone you have these intuitions you have these biases and they are not heavily thought about so if i have to put my thoughts into words i could struggle with that because when i'm in the chart i'm looking at i'm in the zone i'm not thinking hard you know my, my thought process is i'm looking at the chart i'm making these informed decisions i'm looking at the order flow as it's coming in and i'm reading the context reading my you know i'm reading my correlated assets and i'm making these informed decisions okay because here you can see in this example we had offered at cc bearish cvd okay we had you know a visible rejection so with that information, a lot of people are going to be dragged into that short. But with that intuition, with that sort of sixth sense of not being dragged into it, I'm remaining bullish and I'm looking for higher and higher prices we got, right? So it's this important thing to just remember in trading. Yes, we can all have the same levels, but you do have to comprehend to have that understanding then of should I trade this, should I not? You know, some people are going to be upset by this and some people are going to just take it as it is. And that is that experience is necessary and of course i think you have two types of people that would like maybe argue this first of all you have the type of people that are just going to accept this and say hey yeah i do accept experience is required um and you're going to have the people that don't have experience and try and argue with the fact that experience isn't important that you can do this in you know a short amount of time i'm here to just give you my honest opinions and i do think time and experience is of utmost important within this market so to do this consistently to do this time and time and time again uh to see some of the calls that you've seen me be making this isn't by luck this isn't because i've just been doing this you know a few years you know i've been doing this 12 years every single day my life is dedicated to this it's all i do <laughs> um and for me this is a joy it's a passion it's a love but i do want to just be realistic with you watching this that it is going to take time it's not impossible but it is going to take time it is going to take dedication if you put your mind to it there's no way that you cannot end up like me i think you've got all the resources necessary to excel and to succeed but just please don't underestimate the importance of time and experience and this is something that you cannot buy it's not something you can fast track it is simply just going to take time so that's just saying i'd like to emphasize there because it was pretty nice the insights that i gave and saying how i'm not going to short these levels and, and how we ended up going through them you know very nicely indeed
Um, and then we obviously made our way up through $21,000. A few posts here that I want to refer you to live in the time as I was posting them once again before this move, just so you can see the insights here. Obviously, you are aware of 16,950 as the next level. Okay, the trend is real. I said to my team once again, I'm going to end the night saying this, not in any short trades locally, only longs. Now, this is several days in a row now where I'm signing off for the end of the night and I'm telling my team, no short trades for me. I am in longs. I am bullish. I'm looking for higher. The trends in my posts and the trends in the market, you can see how my ideas are correlated to exactly what the market is doing. And even go on to tell my team after this, take care on any shorts. This is a nice short squeeze opportunity, right? I'm not going to take any shorts below 20K. So I didn't short 19,650 because I'm basically saying here there's no short opportunity for me below 20K. Woke up the next day to this. Here we were then hitting around $21,000. Really hope you listen to my bullish bias, CC Paul, and continuous emphasis on no short trades only longs this whole week. You know, from $17,000 very bullish and traded the uptrend successfully with me and that's obviously bringing us more up to where we are now and what we're trading along with of course i made my bias very clear even over on twitter from the 10th of january not felt this bullish in over a year many are going to miss out on this upcoming pump this is going to be amazing year for the traders and of course see people um you know and it's it's this simple thing of just you know i've been following my plan i've been doing my analysis and Taking my trades, right? Had this bullish bias and I've traded my bias. And that's bias built from the charts. And this kind of comment made me made me laugh, which I guess I could refer to very briefly. Um, <laughs> people say he, that I'm cocky, arrogant. And this guy says, I think it's because he is almost always right. He has been destroying Bitcoin for a long time now. I haven't seen anyone be so consistently right and actually trade it too. He is the man when it comes to Bitcoin trading. Yeah, the only people who are losing say bad things. They can't be happy. Uh, you see this beware. These kind of comments make me laugh because I always, I always just I kind of entertain by these comments. So I'm going to move on. I don't. I'm just going to read that and let you think about it yourself. But uh, the last thing that I'm going to talk about before I'm moving on now is now we're moving on to this local chart and this local section. Okay, so this is while we're trading down and around here around twenty one thousand dollars. Okay, give or take five hundred dollars either side. Got this twenty one k midpoint more or less okay so what i'm going to be explaining now is what's going on here we had this first initial move to the upside right we've hit, hit our rejection here around 21500 we've got a bit of a pullback okay many people at this time are going to be fearful of thinking oh the god the highs in we've seen a swing fair pattern um i need to take a short trade you know they're going to be very fearful a lot of people are just going to be very annoyed they've missed the move once again like this guy says Okay, while everyone else is away for the weekends, because this move obviously happened on Friday night coming into Saturday. While a lot of people are away for the weekends, chart champions are trading the range and having a great time. Thank you, myself. <laughs> of course, he's thanking me for giving the heads up along the way. And what is that heads up? Well, it's like this. When there's volatility, I'm going to take these trades and I'm going to alert my team. I told my team the exact levels to trade. And that was after this move up. Come in my team and I said, still looking for higher. I then told my team, these are the next levels to be aware of. We have one level to the downside, the monthly, and we have this weekly above us. Okay. I then see us pull back to the monthly. I tell my team, this is the long opportunity. This is the trade I'm going to take. Of course, I now just want to show you this within the group, what this looked like. These are the higher term time frame levels to be aware of. You can see here very clearly, two levels above us. One, only one level below me of interest. We start to move throughout the day and you can see there's no hindsight in this. This is as soon as this is coming along, I'm taking my trade then I'm uploading and alerting my team. That level that I was ready and waiting for has been hit. It's got for me a good reaction. I then very simply tell my team, I'm taking this trade. I will take this long trade team. Okay, my entry is at the exact same price of anybody else that was reading this post would have made. The exact same entry people could have had as me okay and this in the end well you can see the reaction this is the monthly here by the way which is marked out by around this dotted line uh, which is now our middle of our channel this was our monthly i alert my team straight away i'm taking that trade and we got a nice rise to the upside so you might think this is a relatively small move but from the overall low to high there it's a five percent move to the upside 
5% move to the upside, not too shabby at all, right? You can see my entry is going to be very similar to what everybody else in my group would have had. I could have actually got a better one than me, to be fair. But, um, <laughs> you know, make the plan. This is what I say, trade my plan, right? And so I'm coming in here once again, making it my mission to be clear, even telling my team the next levels and then telling them exactly when I'm taking that trade. You can see from the time of alerting my team to my actual entry is the exact same price. So no excuse and you know this is what this is what we do at cc pool right we're coming in here we're taking our trades and we're trusting the charts <laughs> um so now that's explained hopefully well enough how we got up to this point how we broke through levels simply no reactions making a new high getting a pullback to my monthly level I'm telling my team i'm taking that long trade and i still remain within this as we speak so for me now i want to start to talk about the next levels that i'm looking at and current price action okay just see what we had going on in here. I will now close this. And um, yeah, the, uh, I suppose I'll give this really brief announcement before I move on to what I'm looking at next. And that is, uh, if you missed my Champions live stream last night, you can watch my Champions live stream where I did give my answer to the question of, is the overall high term time frame bottom in for Bitcoin? I gave my answer to that in the stream last night. So if you want to watch that, that's over at chartchampions.com. Of course, I'm also, ex, you know, preparing people for the week to come and, you know, <laughs> recognizing that actually this breakout has been on very nice volume, right? Uh, last and final announcement will be um, if you want to catch my new contenders video that I made, which is for today. Uh, there's a new there's a new contenders video from today, which you'll be able to check now over on the website too. OK, which is actually about the swing failure pattern 2.0. So you can see here swing failure pattern 2.0. This is a new theory, a new video that I've created, a new lesson that you can learn from. And this is obviously all available in the course of the master's course. Now, the advanced strategies swing failure 2.0. So if you want to learn about the new way to trade swing failure patterns, then that's what you're going to learn within the master's course at Chart Champions. I'm just going to make you aware of this because it changes the way we change swing fire patterns and they happen quite often, right? So if you want to learn about the new swing fire pattern method that I've got, giving you all the statistics, giving you all the data, explaining how I now trade these, you can get that over on our website. I think this is a must watch. You very much do need to watch this video. It's very important. It's basically changing swing fire patterns of how I'm doing the major important statistics and taking profits based off of that, right? Uh, and now that's enough of that. And I want to move on to explaining fully why I'm remaining long while remaining looking for higher. Okay, as I said, I'll give you this very thought through professional analysis. And for me, um, it's kind of simple, actually. We remain in very nice higher term time frame bullish market structure. A key thing for me that I want to bring your attention to is I'm going to flip over here to Coinbase and we have not taken out this high. Okay, so this is the high coming in at around 41 four seven eight this high is not taken out so basically i'm remaining patient to see this high taking out then from here i can either look for a simple blast through the level or the swing failure pattern if we get a swing failure pattern or failed auction i can take that short trade and so for me that's how i'm formulating my bias based off of the very strong uptrend that we're in based off there's no local weakness and based off of the fact i really believe we'll take out that high on coinbase and from there maybe we get our turnaround right but for now, it's very simple. I remain long, I remain bullish, and any pullback that we might see, I will long, looking for the Coinbase high to be taken out. So I think that made it very clear exactly what I'm looking at. Of course, on Bybit, we could just be looking for this high to be taken out, right? 21481, just simply get above that high, then I can look for the swing fire pattern or failed auction. Okay, so we could just see a simple swing fire pattern back down. If you know the way that I trade swing fire patterns because you're in the contenders, well, now you know how <laughs> I'll look for the take profits on this. Uh, level to the downside, one level that I want to bring your attention to, and it's actually 20,000 psychological. Of course, we have to view this as a little bit of a zone. Okay, we can look at this as a zone. 20K psychological. We've also got around the CME gap around here. Okay, so the CME gap is, is down in at around $20,000 as well. Um, so I'm looking at this, the CME gap. I'm looking at the psychological level and I'm looking at our mini clusters. So for me, this is uh, a, a level and region that I'm looking at as a support. I would like to see the reaction based off of this for a potential like compounded long, just as how I gave my team the long trade here. 
I would look for twenty thousand uh, dollars for the next long, and if I take that, I'll get give the update right. Um, but for me, that would be my next support to downside, next level to the upside. Uh, this is my analysis, and also, but just so you're very clear and understanding of this, this is the exact uh, words actually that I've given to my team within inside my group. I have already told them the next levels. I've already told them the next trades, and I've already told them what I'm looking for next. Um, just so you're aware, this video is going to be uploaded with a slight time delay, and that's simply for the fact that this information is only given first to the champions inside of the group, inside of the Discord, and so this information is good, it's useful, it's basically educational for you, but I am going to give this on a time delay just so the champions within the group are going to actually benefit from the trade. Um, and you watching this on the YouTube, this is for your education so you can really learn and fully understand what we're looking at. This is kind of just uh, what I want to do on this video because, well, for me, this is like, um, you know, something that I owe to the champions. So, yeah, nevertheless, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that it's been very helpful. I hope you've understood my bias. Of course, this video is going to be preset to upload. So it's going to actually go live in a few hours. I just need to do it with a bit of a time delay. It's as simple as that. Maybe you will still get involved in the trade, but I'm going to basically set a few hours of time delay for the video to upload. And for the reason this video needs to go live for the champions first. I, I want them to have this information. So yeah, thank you ever so much. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, you know what to do. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe and tick the notification bell. If you want to get more from me, well, you know what to do. Watch that over at chartchampions.com. You can watch my last Champions live stream, watch the new videos that we've got released. All these are new, the failed auctions, the hedging, you know, the third touch setups, all new content that's, uh, you know, ready for your viewing now. And the, the lovely thing about this is these videos are now compacted into 15 minutes, right? So you can learn about this in 15 minutes. What, what? Well, you know, what, what, that's what you call efficiency. <laughs> so I'm just going to wrap it up there. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. And I'll catch you over with inside the Discord for the next update and trading information. Thank you ever so much. I'll catch you in that. And I'm going to say that. Goodbye. Thank you, CC Paul. I do love you. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.